Danielle, how are you? Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Have, has your sleep schedule gotten back uh, to normal yet? Yes. Yes, actually, it's it's finally got back to normal. It took a, it took a couple of weeks. But I'm good now. Okay, awesome. Well, it was, you know, coming off of an incredible experience, Haiti making history for you and your teammates. What was that like to represent Haiti at the Women's World Cup? Yeah, I mean, it was amazing. You know, that's something that we've dreamed of all of our lives, you know, being you know, soccer players growing up, that's just the, the one thing you look forward to is going to a World Cup. So to be able to say that we were that team that did it for the first time is like an amazing feeling. And then knowing that we we're representing an entire nation is just it's an honor that, you know, it's it's hard to describe. But it was it was amazing for sure. Danielle, this Haitian national team uh, caught my heart during the CONCACAF W Championship, and that's when I fell in love with the style of play, the players on this team. And after this World Cup, I think you captured a lot more people's hearts. What do you hope that the world takes away from watching this Haitian national team play? Yeah, I mean, I completely agree with you. I think that this was a great showing for us. Um, and I just think, you know, in my opinion, I feel like that should show that, you know, we belong in this this environment, this type of, you know, uh, uh, area with these different teams, you know, on the world stage, it wasn't an accident. It wasn't a, co a coincidence. We actually were meant to be there. So I think that, you know, the rest of the world can just take away that we're a strong team and that, you know, we're, we're competing with the best of the best from now on. Danielle, you come from a super successful soccer family. Your dad played on the Haitian national team and your brother does as well. And for Atlanta United and the MLS, have they given you any advice that's helped you in your career and approaching being on this Haitian women's national team? Yes, I mean, uh, of course, my, my dad and my brother have both played a big part in, you know, why I play soccer to this point right now. Um, so they've always given me advice, even, you know, just on, on collegiate level, whatever it is, um, they always give advice. You know, my dad's all, he, he's definitely been helpful, especially within the, the national team process because he was the first to do that. Um, so he, you know, he just always encouraged, you know, to make sure that I make myself um, known and, and, and let them understand that, you know, I might not have been born in Haiti, but, you know, I just have the same love and I have the same passion for Haiti. So I think that that was a big piece of advice. And then kind of just growing into myself and getting more confidence in myself and how I play. That was big from, from him. And then for my brother, he just always, he always encourages me because sometimes, you know, there may be moments when I doubt myself or when I don't have as much confidence and he always just encourages me that I, I was, I was meant to be here. And Every, every place that I've been at was because of the talent that I have. So, yeah, they, they've both definitely helped me within this time um, previously and up to this point right now. They, they've just always given me really good advice. Danielle, you've been wearing quite a few hats, not just inarguably one of your most impressive, which is World Cup player, but you're also a mom, yeah. uh, not to mention I a am. psych major. How have you managed to <laughs> juggle it all? Because you're making the rest of us look bad. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think, you know, my family's been really helpful. So I've had a lot of support um, from them. So yeah, being being in school at the same time um, as having Ezekiel has been, you know, it's been a pretty smooth transition for me just because I've had so much help. You know, my, my um, boyfriend's family and my family, they just always have been really involved in everything. So it makes it, it makes me look good. Um, but I think that, you know, just kind of finding that time to, to, you know, that's pretty much a lot of college soccer for me was time management. So it was just another thing to, to, to work on and kind of include in my schedule was making sure that I had time for, for my son. Um, and then also still, you know, putting in the work for academics and then putting the work on the field. So it, for me, it kind of was second nature, just being able to get into different schedules and have different things going on. But yeah, my family is definitely definitely been, been helpful with that. So what do you think, Danielle? Early scouting report. Does Ezekiel <laughs> have the stuff? Is he showing early signs of Etienne genes? I want to know yes, so absolutely. I can have, you know, like. Absolutely. He's, Perfect. He's, he's already, he's, he's eight months old right now and he's already trying to stand up. Um, he's, 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 he's crawling like nobody's business, but he's trying to stand up. He's been climbing on things lately. And yeah, my, my dad and my brother call it Project Mbappe. So there's, there's, there's a lot there's a lot for the future for All him. All I hear sure. is potential Amazing. really strong, strong aerial ball skills and hold up play. Yes. So we're good. we're good. I mean, you heard it here first. Project Mbappe <laughs> happening right now. Etienne yes. family making it happen. I, I bet he's already got a bunch of cute little boots and everything. <laughs> Uncle Derek uh, all over that. But, um, you know, in addition to all the help from your family, I can imagine that seeing so many other women at the professional level, especially in recent years, embrace motherhood, not just off the field and how they talk about it, but then going out on the field and playing at an incredibly high level. How inspired by you or how inspired were you by so many of the, the mothers that we see across the world of football mm -hmm. uh, embracing that part of their life? 
Yeah, I mean, I think it's 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 very inspirational to see see uh, different mothers in, in football. I think, you know, for me, it gave me the confidence to know that my, my career doesn't have to stop because I had a baby. Um, I think it only makes us fight harder because now we have so much more to even play for. You know, it's not just our country. It's not just, you know, our families, but it's the next generation. So I think for me that it, it was it was very good to, you know, be able to see other people who have done exactly what I have done. So I think that, you know, that kind of, you know, pushed me to know that I can get back just as much as anybody else could. Uh, but I think that it just goes to show too the the, the generation that we're in is just is completely different from you know what may have been thought about in the past. So I think that you know we're kind of taking new um, stepping stones and, and creating a different future for you know future generations. That you know we we can be a mother and the baby's just going to run around on the field after you know we play. But I think that you know being a competitor, um, knowing that I, I wasn't finished yet and that I had so much more for my career and seeing other women be able to do it, yeah, it was just it was it's a great feeling. It's so cool because now he gets to watch you living out your dream of being a World Cup player and continue your collegiate soccer career because that's what you're doing. You're now going to the Citadel after this World Cup experience. What do you hope to take from your time in Australia and New Zealand and bring to your college game? Yeah, I think kind of just that composure that, you know, that a lot of us had when we were in. Uh, the World Cup, I think that, you know, we were on a big stage, but it was still being able to control your emotions and you still play your game. And I think that that's a big part of something that I want to bring back is just being able to, in whatever environment against whatever team, just being able to be calm and, you know, kind of hold the team together. Um, but then also to kind of want to bring that attacking force, that high press that we kind of, we had a lot um, in our game. So I think that kind of bringing those, you know, technical and tactical sides to it, um, bringing it back to the team. And I think that, you know, they kind of appreciate that. So. It's it's a, it's a good transition. Danielle, that's a great transition. And we have to ask, because this is the last year for you in your collegiate career, what are yeah. you wanting to do next? Hopefully, you know, we have high hopes that you'll come to the NWSL and we can see your game here a little bit more. But what, what are you hoping to do and accomplish? Yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely my goal. You know, World Cup was on the list, but also being a professional soccer player was on my list as well. So. You know, I don't necessarily know if that'll be in the NWSL, if that'll be in France, that, wherever that may be. But I definitely do want to um, take my 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 talents to the next level. So, yeah, hopefully you will see me in the NWSL next year. Well, Danielle, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Best to you and uh, little Ezekiel as well. When is it? Is it too soon to get? When, when can they? When can kids realistically start uh, playing? I they gotta walk first. Yeah. They gotta walk first. He's climbing. What's it He's called? Climbing. Little kickers? Yeah. Is that what they play when they do I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. He he was kicking the ball around while he was in the crib. So it, it's. It, I, I think that there's no there's no age limit for Pre me. Preseason has commenced. Preseason yeah. has exactly. begun, and uh, it's starting in the crib. Uh, that is the case exactly. for Ezekiel. Well, hey, Danielle, thank you again for taking the time to join us. Uh, best of luck this next season and uh, in your future as well. We'll be watching. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Thank you.